Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. So we thank God for today. Saturday 18th, June 2022. And uh, like we started a series yesterday in the open of it. So it's love and submission in marriage. Part two. Today's one is uh, today's episode is part two. So the memory verse that I was taking was uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 6. 2 Corinthians 10, verse 6 says, And having in readiness to revenge all disobedience, when your obedience is fulfilled. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And having in readiness to revenge all disobedience, when your obedience is fulfilled. The passage was taken from Ephesians chapter 5, 22 to 24. That has been read to us. But if we look at that memory verse particularly, it says, And having readiness to revenge all disobedience when your own obedience is revealed. That means you cannot have a log of wood in your eye and you are complaining about the pecks in the eyes of some other persons. You yourself, you don't have the moral standard. It is, it is like I always used to say, if you don't have it, you cannot give it. If you don't know God, you cannot present God to somebody. Okay? Now, it is when you yourself has completed all your obedience, when you fulfill all the commandments of God, when you give your life to Jesus and you are following, and you submit to God, then you cannot revenge disobedience in another person. So you don't have the moral standard. This place is talking particularly is to a man. The message of today is particularly for a, for men. It's for men. Don't have no man has a moral standard to complain about a woman not submissive when he himself has not submitted to God. And look at it. It's a law of karma. Whatsoever a man sweats, he shall reap. And give, it shall be given unto you, good mayor, present, shaking together, running over. So when you don't submit to God, don't ever expect your wife to submit to you. Jesus is the head of a man. God is the head of Jesus Christ. Jesus submitted to God. Why on that? And that is why the Bible says he has been given the name as above every other name. Because he has submitted to God. Now, Jesus now is the head of a man. He has been given the name above every other name. Man too must submit to Jesus. It is when you now submit to Jesus, man is the head of a woman, then your woman will submit to you. Praise God. So, um, especially is for the men anyway. Uh, Because by the time you become a full-grown man now. (laughs) When you become a full-grown man, you will understand the principle. There is things I've told you yesterday. I said there's a principle that governs this world. It's the system. Don't punch the moment you punch your man ruling you go and rule. And what you do? On our wall, be boga on rule on our wall. The moment you punch it, action and reaction they are equal and opposite. The moment you punch it, there will be a reaction. If you do the right thing, you will have the reward. If you don't do it, it, it cannot. There's no miracle about that. No miracle. So the, the best thing is that 
you follow the lay down principle. If you want to have your, you as a man, you want to have a very good home. So when a man submits, when a man submits the Lord Jesus, the wife will submit to him and the children will submit to the woman. That's how it is. So the barra or motor is borrow. So I'm very, very stubborn. Hello, Wadi. Yeah, one girl who submits my vow. Because they will learn that stubbornness from their mother. On our body runs up with a phone, yeah, do that get a phone, yeah, do that get because it is the woman that is more closer. So on Katon, she on our man, my only often time. So they took it from her. So the bathroom motu are very very stubborn. Our motu are very stubborn. Our very stubborn. Hello, what jada? Yeah, one must be a very stubborn one. Uh, they are they have not been submitting to the um, to the husband. And then the wife that I married go by banana. Kishi ya kan to gbadu. Baba no ni gbadu. No no ni gbadu. If he too must be a stark unbeliever, you know. Uh, maybe smoking all around, drinking all around, you know, drinks and fall to the and sleep on the streets, you know, all sort of rubbish, you know. So you got to manage it, yeah. So the train, you just go like that. It's a trend. But I'm just going to also. It's a train. It will just go on and on like that. But if you if you if you have taken it, if you have nipped it at the um at the what? At the top, we will we, we need it at the top. You know, the thing will just get balance. So, then the, the, the flow, the, the flow chain or the chain flow or whatever will be smooth. So, the father submit to God, the mother submit to the father, the children submit to the mother. And that's how the system works. That's how it works. There's no magic about it. Or see the story. That's how it works. So if you want our home to be God fearing one, then men should learn how to submit to God. Women should learn how to submit to God. And God will help us in Jesus' name. The key point says submit to God and your wife will submit to you. So today also is not about wife, really. It's about men. Yes, it's about men because that's how the uh, equation uh, can get balance. It's about men. So I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Any question?